It's New Hampshire Cross Country dot com, powered by Runners Alley. We're, we're here with the 2020 Runner of the Year, Addison Cox of Cole Brown Northwood Academy. Addison, what a way to complete your your season. Your four years coming out. You're the champion now. Uh, you did it the right way. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's it's a great thing when you win your senior year. Mm -hmm. So, tell us the battle that you had with Lyme disease, getting us to this point here. Uh, yes, yeah, so all last year, like in fall and stuff, I was pretty sick. I had a really hard time finishing races and stuff like that. I think I only finished divisions, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it was just really hard. And then indoor, I took completely off. I think I tried to run a 1500 and it did not go well. So I took indoor off after that and just really focused on getting healthy. Um, and I found a really great doctor. Um, to work with and I've been working with him ever since I'm still working with him now um, and he's just really great and then coming around to the spring um, we, we didn't have a season but I was feeling healthy again so we did time trials and stuff like that and it was just really important for me to um, focus on the fact that I was really out of shape in the beginning and I ran like my first few time trials were not very good and I felt like crap and like it just was like like it just took me a really long time like that entire spring I was just really working and focusing on getting back to where I was um, and then eventually towards the end of the spring I got to I PR'd in the mile and I PR'd in the two mile so it ended up being really successful um, but it was a really long road definitely well that's good so it sounds to me like you never lost any motivation you focused in well mm -hmm. and uh, you kept your eye on the piece of pie yeah. so that's great <laughs> so let's talk about the piece of pie the first piece division two Going against Chloe Trudell, I think you guys have both uh, become pretty good friends with each other. She's yeah. well respected. I think fourth in New England's last mm -hmm. year. So I mean, she was the favorite, and mm -hmm. she, you know, she'll definitely be the favorite next year. Yeah. But tell us a little about a little bit about that strategy going um, into that race. Yeah, well, I I raced Chloe like I think two weeks prior to that um, at Freestyle Farm, and I was kind of I was expecting divisions to look pretty similar um, with us just running next to each other the entire time, and then. My plan was to try to break away at the end, um, just as I had done at Freestyle Farm. Um, so she's a really strong uphill runner, so she kind of broke away from me a little bit, uh, going up the ski hill to towards the two mile mark. Uh, but then I was able to catch her on the downhill, and I made a really big move on the downhill, <clears throat> and I got a little bit of a gap on her, but um, I didn't feel like it was enough, so I kind of relaxed a little bit there because it was pretty soon when we first hit the field. I felt like it was too soon for me to be like kicking, so uh, so I kind of relaxed a little bit and then just waited till I hit the final stretch, and then I kind of just sprinted as hard as I could. But. Yeah, that was an epic battle. I mean, it yeah. went back and forth. I wasn't completely sure what was going to happen there. At one point, I think I even announced that, uh-oh, I think she might have went a little too early. Yeah. But you didn't. You uh, or I, I said maybe you should let her pass you and then mm -hmm. just I'll kick her. But you did a great job either way. MOCs, basically, you know, same thing. Yeah, uh, at MOCs, I was expecting um, to have it be taken out a little bit faster than it was. So... Um, after the mile mark, I kind of started to put the pressure on a little bit earlier than I usually do, um, just because nobody else was really taking it. Um, I think everyone was kind of switching up strategies and stuff like that. So uh, once we got into the woods, like on the first time going across the bridge, I, I put the pressure on a little bit. And then coming around the hairpin turn to go along the river, um, I kind of just kind of just went for it towards the two mile mark. And then after that on the grass, um, I just when we hit like the final K to go, um, I just kind of kicked started kicking there um which is a little early, a lot earlier than i usually start so it was it was a lot harder i would say of an effort than divisions because divisions i was like waiting you know what i mean and like doing more like tactical and then this one i also wanted to run a pretty fast time at mlc yeah. so there was that too speaking of fast times you ran into 5k last week and yeah. uh first time you, you ever broke 18 yeah and what did you run for a time i ran 1739 so. wow so that's great thing great effort yeah, and you uh, also signed a letter of commitment to where? University of New Hampshire. So congratulations. Thank and you. So that would be a great thing. And some of the greatest runners of all time, um, you know, have gone there. Yep. So El Puri, expect to break any of her records maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just really excited to be a part of that program. And um, Coach Hoppler is a great coach. And I know a lot of the girls on the team now, and they love it. And uh, I'm just really excited. All right, so let's go back to one other thing. So... Your brother wins, you win, you did it in middle school, 
And then you did it in high school, so the sibling rivalry and everything else between you guys, but the sibling championships, I mean, you put the pressure on him each week because you ran before <laughs> him. He wanted, you know, you won the championships, then he has to go out and go out and win the championships. But you guys did an unbelievable job. Uh, sitting around the sitting around the, the dinner table, um, who, who, gets, who, who gets the accolades this year? Uh, I don't know. I mean... I, I mean, Aiden did run pretty fast times. But. Oh, pretty fast, right? But no, <laughs> let's just go back to that. I'm actually, well, I'm just trying to put you on the spot, but I mean, it's probably the first time it's ever been done. I know it's the first time it's ever been done that, that a brother and sister have won in the same year. So um, great things for you. Great things for your team. You know, both, I didn't mention this when I did Aiden's, you both won state championships, Division Two state championships. Um, unbelievable. Great success for at Cole Brown. Um, good luck next year at UNH, Thank you. and um, I'm, I'm glad to see you win it in your, your senior year. Thank you. Thank you.